Hello and welcome back to Gallery Z. July 2020, uh, the pandemic year, we're past the halfway month. Uh, currently, we just are exhibiting a month-long exhibit of the month of July till the first week of August. Uh, currently, we're exhibiting, which took us about a week and a half to hang, an exhibit that's called The Nude. Uh, it's a seventh exhibit of Gallery Z located on historic Federal Hill in Providence, Rhode Island. Again, we're honoring and uh, celebrating our 20th anniversary on this location. January 20, 2001 is when we were founded. Uh, the exhibit contains uh, about 75 pieces of art and 44 artists, all walks of life, all original works, mostly paintings, mostly oil on canvas, even though there are some uh, acrylic on canvas and there's some photography and uh, some pieces of sculpture, bronze and wood carved. This particular painting um, is an artist from Montreal, a very established artist, uh, born in 1942, Quebec, Canada. Uh, his name is André Schimmer uh, and it's an untitled piece. Uh, there was two sisters to this piece. I sold one of them, uh, very vibrant and colorful. Uh, it's an acrylic on canvas. It's a 22 by 22 inches wide original piece of art. Uh, that's a theme painting of the, uh, the exhibition. Uh, then continuing to various types of mediums and pieces of art. Uh, this is an Armenian artist, very established and uh, his name is Eduard Izabekian, passed away in 2007. Uh, he was born in 1914. This is a nude image of his Russian mistress who was uh, painted, well, was painted acrylic and mixed media on paper in 1982. So Eduard Izabekian was uh, one of the fathers of Armenian art, mostly worked in oil. Um, then next to it to the left is uh, a wonderful piece by Helena, late Helena Stoker. Um, uh, it's called My Torso from the Back. And Helena also unfortunately passed away in 2013. Uh, she was a very prolific artist. She would paint a few paintings a day, thousands of thousands and thousands of paintings in her collection, originally from Czechoslovakia and some people felt that her work was very reminiscent of Chagall's works. Uh, then continues on a depicting of a woman and child uh, by the uh, artist by the name of uh, Matt Donahue. Uh, it's a piece that I've had in my collection. It's a very simple piece, a little bit of Christian faith. It's not 100% nude, but there's some things going on in the background that I really love. I almost feel that this is sort of an unfinished piece of art. This particular piece is a piece by uh, two sister paintings uh, and it's a, it's a painting uh, by artists, very established artists, Rhode Island artists, uh, by the name of Lee Shabbat. And this one is uh, uh, Women in Thoughts. Uh, this particular piece, even though it's a very white, almost uh, nude, open, uh, almost realism painting, looking at Atwell's Avenue and F historic Federal Hill, uh, Women and Thought is kind of, I think, a painting designated to breast cancer. And there's another one on the other side of the, the window that's, uh, it's called Black and Red that I will we'll show you later. And then panning here to the side, uh, three nudes by a very established artist uh, in the 40s. Uh, she's originally from Lebanon. Her name is Lara B, B as in boy. And uh, I, it's a wonderful, palettes that she has, very warm palettes, a lot of gold leaf, mixed media, mostly oil, some acrylic, and also some collage work and heirloom materials in there. Uh, this one is called the reclining uh, figure of a woman uh, down here, um, and then untitled nudes. Then we pan over to the left, we have uh, uh, wonderful original works of by the artist by the name of Harut Ajaganyan, an artist that I've been selling and representing his work for three decades almost. 
Uh, he's an artist that's uh, 64 years old and lives in Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. And we're panning more to more of his work so that we see uh, untitled piece. And these are all acrylics on paper. And usually when he comes across a head of an animal, a sheep, a donkey, a goat, and uh, certain instruments that he incorporates, traditional Armenian instruments, and we see a little bit of a goat head over here, or a bunny, if I may, he stops, the palette stops. A historic piece, this is by Armand Duran. It's, a, it's an etching, it's a very old piece, circa 1900s, 1831. Um, a piece that I've had in my collection, wonderfully framed, uh, double matted, and uh, a beautiful piece. And on top here, we have also, again, another one untitled by Haruta Jaganyan, a much larger piece. It's acrylic on paper. Uh, then below, we have uh, a beautiful piece. Uh, it's called Soul Mates, and it's an established artist from, again, Armenia. His name is Martin Petrosyan, who was born in 1936. So he's in the 80s. Uh, again, a very, very beautiful watercolor, actually, with collage and all types of works. Then panning over here to the left, we have some smaller pieces that we don't need to, we can look at later. Helena Stoker above, and it's called The Couple. Again, very a la Chagall. Helena passed away in 19, 2013. Another Rhode Island artist uh, by the name of Melanie Ducrain, uh, and it's called Together. Uh, this is actually a piece that I love, and I bought it um, in the University of Rhode Island Shepherd's Building two years ago, and I'm uh, able to put it on the, on the market here to resell it. Then we have uh, Brian McNeil, an artist that studied a lot in Rome. Um, this particular piece is actually looks like a realistic photograph or silver gelatin print, but it's definitely graphite it's paper this thing took him paper and pencil this thing this painting this piece that it's called nude woman took him actually almost five and a half months see all the little little textures of this graphite then we pan over to the left on top here have my dear friend 70 year old 73 year old angela maranasi born in 1947 a photographer, musician, a prolific Renaissance man. Uh, this is a photograph he did in uh, Rhode Island, actually. And it's called Gord. Uh, actually, what does it say? Georgianne. It's the name of the girl. And down below, we have an artist that also passed away in 2010, exactly 10 years ago. A wonderful photographer, uh, published uh, eight books, traveled the world by the name of Matthias Operthof. So Matthias was actually... Uh, a photographer that worked primarily in pinhole. So this particular one is a pinhole camera. Some were garbage cans that he put sheet film and he later on in his life, unfortunately Parkinson's disease took him. He started scanning his negatives and outputting them digitally. But that's a very nice uh, archival print. Then came a piece of 1989, a very established artist in Rhode Island again, by the name of Mark Friedman. So this is uh, after three trips into Armenia after the earthquake in 1988. I landed in Rhode Island December of 1989, and then a friend took me to Atlantic Mills in Orneville, Rhode Island, where the Atlantic Mills, one of the fire, the building was on fire. So this particular uh, piece is called Atlantic Mills Fire. December 1989 by Mark Friedman. And it's actually, um, it's a charcoal and pastel and oil stick. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, another piece up top here, uh, collage type of work. Francesca is the name, Roma, is by the name of artist uh, Stephen Brigidi, born in 1951. Also another photographer from Gallery Z, four, over 400 artists, he, one of the 11 photographers in the stable of Gallery Z. And this is a collage and a mixed media. Down below, uh, works that uh, was taking uh, uh, 1979 by, again, Angelo Maranasi. 
the old style of the body language and the smoke. Uh, uh, it's called Ms. T. Smoking. And this one was photographed in 1979. It's a silver gelatin black and white print printed in the dark room and uh, and it's in Venice Italy uh, coming over to one of our most established uh, artists Armenian artists by the name of Kevork Murad uh, Kevork Murad is a Manhattan based artist has a Brooklyn uh, Bushwick uh, Brooklyn studio travels around the world part of the Silk Road Ensemble does a performance art and this particular piece a very large canvas vertical uh, it's called duet a wonderful piece very good energy in the piece here scanning to the left is a wonderful artist again been showing your work for about seven eight years uh, by the name of Aaron Starr and the top one is uh, is uh, oil and acrylic mixed media 12 by 18 uh, and it's uh, it's a very beautiful piece it's on board uh, it's called female body number three and down below the same palette colors uh, female body number four again Aaron Starr artist uh, born in 1970 that also lives in Rhode Island then panning over uh, we're edging the non nude feelings here but I love this painting uh, this is a very established artist who passed away also in 2003 and Hilda Carniol is the artist. This is called Bereavement. And it's a scene from New Orleans uh, after a funeral scene. It's an oil on board, uh, uh, 20 by uh, 24, actually 24 by 20 piece, beautifully molded and a double insert uh, uh, framed. Uh, it's a wonderful, very warm palette. Then we're gonna pan over to the left. Uh, we have uh, uh, another artist that originally was from LA, lived in San Francisco, now lives in Philippines um, by the name of uh, Marty Makoko. Marty uh, worked a lot in very Francis Bacon style of works and we're going to pan over to the left bottom. You'll see two more of uh, Marty's works uh, and he had one artist, uh, one model that he used uh, Pat and everything was pat on a squirrel rug, pat on the table, pat petting her hair. Everything's pat, pat, pat. Uh, then on the left there, all the way to the left, you will see an, another actually uh, painting uh, with, with Marty's works and it's called Reflection. And he's depicting the human body, uh, depicting uh, reflection in his own little mind, little distortions happening there. Uh, then the performance here on the left and the wonderful three men uh, very playful I believe he did this uh, Southern California uh, then in the bottom right is actually one of my own uh, photographs uh, Bear Zobian I'm the gallery director and uh, this was my 25 years ago silhouette project uh, it's a silver gelatin print it's got a curve on it and it's got veil, very big inspiration from actually Richard Avedon's series of the, uh, uh, his own silhouette series. And then we're gonna pan all the way to the right on the top. And that is also another Kevork Murad. Uh, and it's called From the Land of Peaches. That's an acrylic uh, on canvas, uh, some mixed media in there. Um, and he's, he's got, uh, uh, painted on the rice paper actually on this one and this is a piece that he did uh, uh, about 12 years ago so it's an older Kevork Murad Roger good size painting so this is a painting uh, it's called the red studio but it's basically depicting an artist painting a model a typical scene is the artist in a studio uh, this painting actually I bought my own hands in 1986 in October by uh, an artist who lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts now, by the name of Samuel Karakinian. I went to his atelier studio in Armenia in the fall of 1986. And since then, we've had a number of his solo duo exhibits and uh, he's working uh, continuously. Actually, his studio is in Cambridge, but currently lives in Belmont, Massachusetts. Up here on the left, we have another one of our 
photographers from the 11th uh, stable of photographers from the Gallery Z. Uh, this is late uh, William Davy, who he passed away sadly four years ago. V uh, William uh, was a Bill was a, actually a veteran of the Providence Journal uh, as a photographer of 28 years, and this is called the Fountain, and it's uh, photographed in. Uh, Providence on Benefit Street, diagonally across from the RISD Museum to the right of the Athenaeum. It's actually a very beautiful sculpture uh, and he photographed it. There's a water fountain there and it almost looks like very realism and also the fact that there's movement in the water. Then we have a whole set of works here. Uh, so this is Aristide Mayol. Uh, Mayol was actually a very established uh, uh, late 19th century um, a sculptor uh, from France, 1861 to 1944. The other six pieces are all female uh, nudes. They're all of medium of lithograph and silk screen. Uh, so there are uh, strange nude one, strange nude seven. I had a set of 24 of these pieces. I sold 18 of them. We have six left. Uh, then we have this large lithograph. It's 24, 25 and a half by 42 inches. And so it's called Female Nude. Again, Aristide Mayol. Then we're going to turn around to the left and we're going to come over to another Rhode Island artist uh, who's working various mediums by the name of Carol Scavato. Uh, Carol is an artist uh, who's done lots of work with Gallery Z in a personal connection. We've exhibited, we've curated shows together. This particular series is very, uh, series is, is very uh, interesting because they're very oriental feel to them. Their works on um, uh, silk and thread and there's some uh, little bit of uh, panels, painting, uh, that she's painted with colored pencil uh, and they're round. Uh, there are various uh, in interesting uh, sexual positions, if I may. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a very uh, beautiful perspective that she has. Uh, she works very hard in w the way she operates and very meticulous. And she's been creating this body of work most recently and selling it actually. Uh, so we're very excited to have uh, uh, Carol in back at the gallery stable. Uh, this is called A Leg Up. The top one that we're just showing is another piece of Aaron Star. It's called Female Body Number no. 2. Uh, coming down lower Massachusetts, Armenian artist, Armenian German artist uh, by the name of Sirarpi Hejinian Waltzer. And this is a mixed media piece. She's her work's incredible. It's very always, always very tastefully done. And, uh, and then down below, we have also another artist from Massachusetts, and it's called Remembrance, and it's Adrian Dermardirosian, another Armenian artist. We're panning over to this beautiful sculpture here. Uh, it's a bro uh, piece of uh, bronze, and uh, the title of this is Beauty. And the artist is born in 1940, very established sculptor from Moscow, Russian artist by the name of Ivan Kazensky. A uh, particular piece is about four inches by seven inches wide and tall. Uh, Ivan actually is the president of the Russian Sculptor Union in Moscow and also happens to live in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, two weeks out of three months on the east side of Providence. And then we're going to go up here, another their Manuelian, their Martirosian, Mar it's called Muse. And then we walk down a little lower, another Adrian, their Martirosian, uh, also Muse. Then panning over to another set of Matthias Olpertov, a, a trip diptych with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, with um, a model and also pinhole cameras again. And uh, panning to the left again, another Adrian Der Manuelian, Der Maderosian. Uh, finally, coming to Dennis de Lombo. The Dennis was actually an artist, the uh, RISD alumni, and uh, this is a uh, uh, it's all, it's a graphite piece, 
it's, high, uh, it's a heightened graphite piece. Down below is a beautiful piece for my personal collection, and that's actually one of my inspirations. Uh, this is a Richard Avedon black and white print. Unknown artist, silver gelatin print. It's a nine, nine by 13 inches. It's a black and white print, and it's, its title is Nude Posture. Down below is actually, again, one of my own photographs from the Human Anatomy Project that I did about 26 years ago. And, um, and this is dealing with the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the model's name is S. We don't want to give first names. It's, again, a silver gelatin print. Leading over also to the Human Anatomy Project, a female and a male nude. And uh, it's, the title is Gender slash dash female human anatomy project uh, and that's one of my own photographs i don't usually my own work show my own work at the gallery a wonderful uh, reclining almost nude by jill mclaughlin uh, from uh, southern rhode island uh, she studied in uh, kingston it's a black and white print and down below is another silver gelatin print uh, untitled, unknown artist, very beautiful, delicious piece of work, very classy. Uh, Ruben Nakian uh, passed away 30 years ago, a sculptor, and these are hand-signed beautiful prints by his work. And uh, again, this is the new exhibit, the seventh exhibit of Gallery Z, the year 2020. We're very excited that we will have a real opening, which is following Thursday, July 16th, between 6 and 9 p.m. 2020. And again, remember, we are tax-free. You can go online. All the work will be online. And uh, you'll be able to access the work and look at the work and buy the work. We ship for free. All original works. We're very proud to represent 44 artists and about 75 pieces of art. Thank you very much. Berg Zobian, Gallery Z on Historic Federal Hill. Thank you.